Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411 and today we're going to go ahead with the Celtic Cross reading for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, we're just going to jump right into your reading. This is for the month of September, so I'm a little late getting some of these up. I've been uh, catching up on private readings, so here we are and we're just going to jump right into your reading. Just thank Spirit, thank you so much Spirit for blessing this reading and being here with us in this reading. Thank you for giving us clarity, insight, and guidance for the month of September. So thank you all for chiming in with me. I know I look a little rough. Y'all are just waking up. I need to shave. I need some self-care. But me and a friend, we're going to go um, like downtown St. Louis or something like that. So if it's in the cars, that's what's going to happen. I better keep on shuffling until I get a flush. Spirit, please bless these cars. Thank you. That was flush. We'll go ahead and take it. And so you might hear music or people in the background. I'm, I'm at a cafe, so just got to get it done while I can and where I can for y'all. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. These out of the way. Ooh, bottom of the deck looking pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got three and three. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so bottom of the deck card, Scorpio. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. What's after that? The Devil. So this is about graduating. When you have the Devil show up, and you get this ace of pentacles it shows me this is about graduating from a cycle a season that you've just gone through so you want to pat yourself on the back give yourself a standing ovation from cutting loose from devilish tendencies devilish ways devilish people looks like that's what you're doing you're closing up that cycle in your life and this is what god wants to give you a blessing uh, like a diploma for finish, finishing up that curriculum. So I am very proud of you and sh you should be very proud of yourself. It is not easy to cut away from a devil. Okay, so bless y'all, bless y'all, bless y'all. Shows you're leaving, shows you're getting out of Dodge and that may be exactly what's happening after a time of struggle in this relationship. You had to cut yourself free. Maybe it took all six of those swords <laughs> or the king of swords or whatever it took, but it shows you're leaving, you're cutting free, and that's going to be going towards God, money, the life you deserve. Okay shows you're in hermit mode so these are major arcanas right out the gate all three you got the devil you got well these two the ace isn't but it's the hermit and the devil so that'll take you to hermit mode once you've been dealing with devilish people and devilish situations you need to go into hermit mode so you can recalibrate get yourself in alignment with spirit and get your god money inheritance or graduation that's what it looks like is happening for you looks like you got some wishes and blessings coming in this September so all in all you're gonna have a great September you cannot if you got God money and you got <laughs> wishes coming in looks like you're gonna be blessed but you just want to take your time and recalibrate reconnect get in alignment with self and spirit okay next card we got for y'all celebration so you could be partying up with some chums and having a good old time looks like this is a wish come true for you and it could be with celebrating with friends and family all in all you have a blessed time and september is showing so far next card we got yep the we did it card so whether you got some kind of milestone some kind of project you just finished this is a success so it's just showing that you've done the work to get this feeling we did it go right ahead Scorpios next card we got is the Queen of Cups so a lot of you Scorpios are lovers and givers and givers and givers but you just want to make sure that you give but you give back to yourself you might be caring so caring that you forget to give back to yourself and you always want to stay in balance in anything especially when giving to other people stay balanced and stay in truth with yourself and with spirit and take this spiritual time out for yourself and get back reconnected and feeling good, okay? 
All right, so those were the first six cards, Scorpio. These are the next six. Shows competition, chaos, and drama around you. So if that's the case, this is why you want to go in hermit mode. Get out of this chaos, drama, conflict, or whatever it is, and get back in like relation with you. Get back in contact with you, your higher self, so you know you have the power and you everything is coming from you in spirit no one else should have any more power than you in a relationship no matter how much competition and chaos as long as you go within you can go without okay and then get back centered next card we got is the moon so it's showing you might not be clear in certain situations but that's why we have spiritual discernment spiritual intuition and that's what this the moon is to me is intuition so use your spiritual intuition if you're not clear and if you're not clear that says go get reconnected with your hermit mode card and with spirit so you can become clear become illuminated in the night that way you're ready to go into the sunshine in the day okay next card we got king of swords so you could be in your king of swords or dealing with someone in the king of swords this one is not to be played this is not to be like taken for a joke he will cut out what doesn't belong and he, that's his reference point is the truth and so if he's putting that sword up like that it's just like the justice card in his favor and that's his reference point he will filter out what does not belong just like the queen of swords who suffers no fools with that sword and chop out any bs any devil any <laughs> anything that he needs to he will cut it out and that's what it looks like you did you cut the devil out your life and i can't be more proud of you for doing it but it will take you here to reconnect with spirit after you're done with this devil we should put the devil below because he doesn't have any power over this king okay next card these are your last three outcome cards. It's the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be you in the relationship and you just living your best life in your own abundance. And, you know, you're doing everything correctly. You could be helping someone in the situation or you could just be gaining more coin. All in all, looks like you're a blessed, blessed queen. And, you know, you're a queen of Pentacles and queen of love. And then you get the ace on top of it. So maybe you're going to get an inheritance or something to take you to the emperor status. But all in all, you're blessed. And this is a blessed, blessed time for you. Okay, next card we got. Eight of Pentacles. So you're working hard. So that's why <laughs> you are the queen of Pentacles. And this is why you're getting even extra blessed. Even more money in the situation. God sees us, our heart, what we do. And a lot of times spirit brings work opportunities to advance even further. So it looks like that's what's happening for you. And I'm so happy for you, Scorpio. Go right ahead. High Priestess, so it shows you're spiritually connected and protected through and through. You got all beautiful cards pretty much here. You do have some chaos and drama with that, you know, the devil and devilish situations, but you got that king up, so you can't lose. You got a lot of wishes. <laughs> you got celebration, shows you're working hard. It also shows you're leaving the situation. So all in all, you got a blessed reading coming in for you, Scorpio, in September. Let's go to the bottom of the deck. Shows you're waiting for something to come in, some kind of spiritual wish, some kind of spiritual order. Shows you're in a new foundation with a new somebody. So this is the counterpart to the high priestess, and that's what you just got. So it looks like you have a new relationship forming, and this is one of the best relationships you can have for the simple fact they come from their spiritual core. That's who they are all the time. It looks like you're building up a new foundation with a new someone or old someone and you guys are building a new foundation going to the next level. But this is a blessed, blessed union and you deserve it. So not only are your finances popping and cracking where you're living your best life financially, you're gonna say we did it. Y'all got God money. And you're a beautiful queen who looks like could be going to emperor status because you're leaving you're getting out of dodge to get what you deserve and that's this new foundation <laughs> and celebration <laughs> so go right ahead scorpios i'm so happy for you thank y'all for chiming in in the comments and thank you for rocking with me and letting me do your readings for you if you need a private reading just reach out by email these divine tarot 411 I also have rings and t-shirts if you're interested thank you so much y'all blessings blissfulness peace and love bye y'all